behind her and to protect her privacy is speaking out in order to help others. She says this romance scammer pretended to be after her heart when in reality they were after her money. What people don't understand is that the scams are getting a lot more complex with two things going together, AI and cryptocurrency. It's a tactic we've heard <laughs> before. <laughs> Scam yeah. artists now using deep fakes to earn people's trust, adding a new twist to romance scams. David Miney, who runs the evidence-based cybersecurity group at Georgia State University in Atlanta, has been closely monitoring how fraudsters are using AI to gain people's trust and commit fraud. We see um, many actors, both local actors but also global actors, infiltrating dating apps, looking for profiles on Facebook, on, on Tinder, on you know, other platforms uh, they, they have access to, taking the images from those uh, profiles, establishing fictitious profiles. The FTC says the reported losses to romance scammers total $1.14 billion, with the median losses per person around $2,000, the highest reported losses from any form of imposter scam. It's interesting because romance scams are underreported because a lot of times people are ashamed, they're embarrassed, they don't want to talk about it because it's so emotional. Melanie Montgomery with the Better Business Bureau says you shouldn't feel embarrassed. She says if someone online starts turning your romantic conversations into discussions over their hardship and need for money, it's a sign to delete the contact and move on. The BBB is also watching the emergence of AI as well. Your voice could be cloned, your photo could be cloned, a video could be used. Remember, never send money, crypto, gift cards, or wire transfers to someone you've never met in person. And if you're unsure of your online lover, do a reverse image search to see if the images are associated with another name. After what she experienced, Shreya says it took some time for her to heal. Now, she's using her experience as empowerment. It became very important to me that I become part of the solution. What we can control is more people knowing about it. And this is where the media, advocacy efforts, just getting the word out there can be very impactful so that less people fall for it. With us watching your wallet, I'm Felice Jackman.